Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to the brand new map, Art Genesis. All right, guys. Well, I'm here with Monogard. She is, uh, she's awake and uh, and around. Hey, where are you at, Monogard? I'm right here on the other side of the strand. <laughs> oh, oh, you are. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, uh, you pretty happy with where we live? I am. I okay. like it here. And um, so, it's, I'm gonna actually pick your brain. Uh, as far as what you think, if I'm missing anything, why we put our base here. Actually, guys, when we came up, let's jump on a Tyrannodon real quick. Is this mine? I yes. It's mine. Okay, good. Okay. So let's head back to the old base real quick. Because uh, it won't take us but a second. And actually, I was kind of surprised, guys, that, th that our new base location was so close to our old base location. If you just go around the corner here, and... On the other side, we're not going to go all the way. But you guys saw it in the last video. Right over there is where our old base was on the other side of that lake. And so we just came up here. We got a couple of rafts together and we rafted up here. And we started noticing all of these river rock. And if you know anything about river rock, guys, you know that that's really good early metal. So, I mean, this round rock here, if you, if you hit it, you're going to get what I mean. We are, what's our resources at right now? What, what, what's our spawn rate? Um, what's our gather rate, I mean? It is eight, I think. Eight. Okay, so it's times yeah. eight, and uh, I got 16 metal out of that one, so it's going to be like, you know, you get two metal out of every rock. There's a lot of river rock around here, guys, right off the bat. And so right off the bat, that's uh, that showed us that, you know, this is probably a good place to be because there's a lot of river rock. So what we started to do was we were like, well, this looks like a good flat spot right here. We really didn't have any designs except all of this river rock. That was all we wanted to see. Now, a lot of it's disappeared because foundations. And... We started gathering metal and gathering metal, and, and we started smelting, and we got our armor, got our tools, got our weapons, our sword, and our pikes, and things like that. And then I was like, I'm going to go inland, because it looks like we're close to the mouth of the river. And I said, well, let's go go in there, and let's ch check this out. And so uh, I went on the other side of this boulder and freaked out, because just around the corner guys is a ton of metal and i was like oh my god there's a ton of metal and there's a ton of uh, and there's obsidian and then i started looking and look at this unique feature here this is a geode guys with crystal in it now granted don't get me wrong you hit this once and i, I only got how much crystal did i get i only got 21 crystal with our gather rate but which wasn't great but i was like hey man you know that's a little bit of crystal man i'm okay with that that's that's all right and it's not too bad, you know? Oh, okay, that was an obsidian geode. This is an obsidian geode. But they, there's a couple of crystal geodes floating around here. Let's go ahead, let's go. Oh, whoa. oh yeah, he's too heavy. I need to increase his weight. We have the weight, uh, ga the, the weight turned up on this server, guys. So we're going to go. Where is it, Monogard? Is it over here? I think it's right here, right? think so through this ivy this is so cool cool feature guys the ivy hanging down from the rocks you almost makes you forget that there's something in here and you also have all these mushrooms oh yeah oh my god look oh no it's the red mushrooms from Aber from aberration oh no oh no wait wait i'm not pooping myself why am i not pooping myself because <laughs> it doesn't work because it doesn't work uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. he took it out guys the spores that actually make you poop yourself and not be able to breathe they don't exist anymore but look at that look at this all the regular mushrooms from uh, aberration are here guys and there's the pointy one this is the one that always does the, the nasty so but it should give me if i get it it should give me some biotoxin it does there's the biotoxin right there you look at look down on the left hand side so i got the biotoxin from the pointy mushroom it's the only one that gives it but you get biotoxin so you don't have to go hunt your uh, your your jellyfish although you can and also look at this all of the light pets are in here guys in this area right here all the light pets i don't see so many right now but they all exist so um, we this is where we got all of our light pets so there's some more crystal but look at this little tiny crystals i was like oh can i pick this up you can't pick it up you can't pick it up but what you can do you can hit it this is what gives you a lot of crystal right here look at that little baby one boom all right there's another 20 crystal and what's this oh there's another 30 oh maybe that was 10 all right, we're going to wait. And then we go here. Boom. That's another 23 crystal. What this? All right, come on. There it is. 24 crystal. These little tiny crystals give you more than these geodes do. Watch this. 
13 or 16 yep that's right so all of this resources are right here guys this is the best base location to start hands down oh what, what's that you want to make some stuff from the aberration engrams what what was that oh yeah you get fungal wood you get fungal wood you do so fungal wood is a thing and their mushrooms are everywhere here and it's not just here they're scattered everywhere so i'm and the resources are going to be expanded in not too long so i would this is still an alpha everything's changing so don't worry if it's if you don't see enough resources um jack from people's gaming he's going to go ahead and he's going to he's going to expand the amount of resources that are around i think i could be wrong he could be telling me right now that that's not the case but i think it will be uh so just let him know in the mod page in the comments what you think if you think that something's uh not right let him know if you think something needs to be changed let him know get into the discord Start talking to him. Uh, let him know what you think, and he's more than happy to uh, to take notes. All righty, guys. Well, it fogged over, and now it's cleared off a little bit. And there's a couple more resources I wanted to show you. Right here, look at that. You see that moth? Where'd he go? Where'd that go? Where'd he go? There he is. Look at that. From Scorched Earth, ladies and gentlemen. You know him. You love him. He's your your source of chitin and silk. He's also an early early tame for a, for riding if, or for flyers if you if you feel like you you like to fly on the back of a moth. We're gonna go ahead and go on down to the right here and go down this valley where there's some feather lights. There's a light bug there. That's another source of chitin. We were looking for chitin for quite a while. There wasn't a ton of of chitin mirrors, but he said he's gonna change that. So we're gonna you can expect to see more bugs. There is a Perlovia spawned somewhere around here. I got one and I killed it the other day. So be careful when you come in here. This is the Redwoods and watch out for your, your, your what are they called? No. Oh, Thylas. Yeah, the Thylas. That's right. Look out for the Thylas. I got taken off my, my Argent the other day too. So you got to be careful. All right. And right here is where you're going to find your beavers. Now I'm not seeing any beaver dams. That's an issue right now. There's not a lot of beaver dams. I think there's one beaver dam that spawns right here. We have about three or four beavers. He's, in the next update, he's going to expand that. But for right now, you're having, we're having to make our cementing paste from scratch. So, um, I mean, you get like 300 from a dam with our gather rates. So, with our spawn rates, I mean. So, there are beavers down in here, guys. They exist, but they're not producing like, they, like we feel like they should. So, uh, hopefully that's going to change in the near future. Don't panic. In the meantime, get your bugs, get your chitin, make your cementing paste the old-fashioned way, and there'll be more beavers soon to come. Alrighty, guys. Well, there's only a couple of things that we haven't covered as far as resources go that are going to be in this area, and one item that's not really in this area. So the couple of things that I always look for is polymer and oil. So oil we need for our generator to run it, and then polymer for your ghillie suit, and amongst other things. Uh, polymer wise if we go whoa it, okay there we go if we go across here you're gonna find ducks all along here see that sandy area to my right and the sandy area to my left we're gonna find ducks let's go to the right right here uh, I think maybe some sharks might have eaten the ones to my left so we're gonna go over here you should see ducks swimming around on these sandy beaches they're really easy prey and it's gonna get you gilly super early so if you like your gilly uh, I'm gonna say that maybe I don't call me a liar. Don't call me a liar. Duck, 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 goose. Or yet? I swear to you, they're here. I swear they're here. Do you see one? <laughs> um. Alrighty, guys. Well, as I said, um, yeah, the ducks get eaten pretty regularly. There's a sarco trying to eat this duck's face along with a manta ray. These guys are around, but you gotta really watch out because, oh, maybe the Sarko's eating the... Okay, the Sarko's going after the manta ray. They don't get along too well, but there are ducks. You just have to notice, you just kind of have to walk around and find them. I promise you they're here. <laughs> so that's gonna be your polymer. I swear to God, they're here. I may have killed most of them. That's probably what happened. I like my ghillie. Anyway, also you're gonna need polymer for scuba, so. Uh, that's a big deal right there, but 
Polymer is also found, guys, in one of the caves in the highlands. And we're next episode, we're going to go to the highlands, and I'm going to show you where to find all the polymer you're ever going to need. So if your ducks run out, you don't have an issue. Okay. The other thing that we wanted to look for was the oil. And the problem with that is I've been up and down this lake and I've been told there's an oil node here, but I can't seem to find it. So my problem was that we didn't have any oil for gasoline. So of course you're going to, you know, we, you, trilobites are a thing. They are down in this water, but they're so few and far between that and they're deep. So you have to get scuba to get your oil, but you need oil to make your scuba because you need your, your you need your fabricator and so it's a it's a catch-22 and a wicked circle but I went ahead and I and I tamed us that Sarco I tamed a Sarco so that I could get a really good shark and then I got a really good shark and I cleared out this entire bay this entire lake I cleared almost all of it so that I could tame a basil sore a basil uh, is it basil sore basil sore Basil sore, basil sore. I don't know. It depends on where you're, whether you're from the UK or the US. A basil sore, you guys, is going to be your oil producing whale. And we have one right here in a water pen. A cheap, uh, a really cheap water pen. He's right there. And he produces 20 oil a pop, well, when he's full. And that, produces, that produced our gasoline to get us to where we needed to be. So there is oil, and, and probably not this next episode, but the episode after, I'll show you where the oil nodes are on this map. you got to fly to them. They're kind of far away from here. But if you want your oil close, tame yourself one of those guys. There's two or three of them in this water. So all you got to do is get rid of the manta rays. I say all you have to do is get rid of the manta rays. It's, you know, it's one of those things that if you've been in ARC for a while, you know how to do that. So all I can say is good luck to you. All right, guys, and to make electronics, you're going to need pearls. Now, in the very first episode, I showed you where the black pearls were, kind of, but we didn't get you a, a coordinates on that. But I'm going to get you coordinates on that in a future episode. But for right now, I'm going to show you where to make, get your, your white pearls at. And they're down below at the bottom of this lake. So we're going to go ahead and take Thundertail. Let me go ahead and get my scuba on right quick. I'm just going to use the tank and the fins right quick. I don't need the rest of it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on Thundertail. We're going to jump down in here. I'm going to take you to the bottom of this lake and we're going to show you what the admin or what the devs had done to make the pearl spawn look unique now this is really cool some of this some of this these features down in the water here but it can be kind of hard to navigate so you kind of have to be careful there's about three or four of these little pearl spawn areas in this lake down in here so and you get to watch out for sharks watch out for mantas Watch out for, you know, all the all the baddies, of course. And these are where all your pearls are, guys. I don't need any extra right now, but uh, the collision's not quite right just yet, but it's fine. Like I said, alpha map. But there's like three or four of these that I think you're going to be able to find all the pearls you're going to need down in this water. So this is another additional reason why we chose this spot. So, And there you don't get air from those bubbles, just so you know. It's not like Subnautica, so don't expect it. All right, so look at this, man. Look at this rib cage. Is this not amazing? This is really cool. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you where we found our Argents and also where you can find a couple of T-Rexes right in the area. Coming up right now. All righty, guys, and so when we came here, we uh, I noticed uh, we took the rafts all the way to the end of this lake, and we realized that there are not only the Pteranodons here, which are, you know, just amazing early tames. But we also have Argents. Matter of fact, RG Central is right dead ahead of me. I call it RG Central. It's not really. But there are Rexes in here, guys. So be careful when you come around because there are a lot of T-Rexes. But there are also a lot of Argentavis. So once you hit level 55, is it 55 or 65 now? Uh, 65, I think. 65 to make the saddle? Yeah. So, you know... They are everywhere, guys. They're beautiful. Loving them. Now, they're, you know, now we have classic flyers on here, which is why we're flying so fast. There's a Rex right there. Laid an egg. Is that an egg? Oh, no, that's a Dordicarus. <laughs> that's funny. Is that an egg? It's the same color as a T-Rex. No, it's a, it's a Dordicarus <laughs> fighting for its life. Of course, we've got Carnos and, you know, over here. We have a trap right here. That we, we for our, we have an RG trap right here that we made, guys. So this is how we tamed our Argentavises, and of course you got hyenodons, cats, all kinds of nasties over here. You got to clear them out. 
got to clear them out, but there's just all kinds of nice carnivores for you to tame up and make your own. Look, there's another Rex. Oh, a Kentro too. Look at that beautiful Kentro. I got a feeling that that Rex is going to have a problem in a minute. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for us today. Oh, Allosaurus even. Look at that. All right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll see you next time in another episode of Arc Genesis. You want to say goodbye, Monogard? Goodbye. I'll see you later, guys. Oh, there's an Alpha Raptor. Let's go kill it. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Oh, maybe not.